Welcome back with an update on Hurricane Isaiah. Uh, uh, Isaiah. Is. Um, I'm just going to pronounce this completely different each episode because I'm never going to get this pronunciation right. Um, but anyways, 80 mile per hour winds. So it is going to get act, to act together. It is getting stronger, which is bad news as it's going to be more dangerous. Um, but it is expected to have 80 mile per hour winds. Maybe 85 as it approaches that island. 85 after it slams into this main island of the Bahamas. Um, but it may have... Well... But this island will delay um, this thing getting, getting any stronger. As land kills the flow of this... Uh, of the hurricanes and whatnot. I Just horrible wording. Anyways is expected to uh, we're, uh, come right up close to West Palm Beach, Palm Beach Gardens, mm -hmm. Jupiter region of Florida, may make landfall in Florida. It's not out of the question. Anyway, 75 mile per hour wind hurricane as it approaches mm -hmm. Cape Canaveral, may make landfall in Cape Canaveral. Um, 70 mile per hour wind tropical storm, mm -hmm. 70, and well, there would be Jack Jacksonville getting impacts, um, so notable people there will be well Pat from Popular MMOs getting infect, affected by this. Um, Seventy mile per hour winds there, sixty five mile per hour winds as it goes through um, north uh, uh, the North and South Carolina border through Virginia, um, actually making possible impacts, well, possible landfalls in Maryland and maybe Del Delaware with some of the bar barrier islands and outer banks. Um, that's not off the table. Um, and in 60 mile per winds in Nova Scotia, making landfall in St. John as a post-tropical cyclone. Well, Lawnville, but it is expected to go over um, St. John midday on Wednesday as a post-tropical cyclone. Um, but first, making landfall in Grand Manan Island, and then the final landfall being near Lawrenville. Um, just because it's a post-tropical cyclone, do not let your guard down. That's the last thing you want to do. Um, but before that, there will be landfall in Rhode Island. In fact, well, going through Massachusetts, may make a a quick landfall in Long Island, um, and that time frame is literally a day, so it's going to be zooming. It's going to be in and out, which is good, because you don't want this thing stalling on you as you will be flooding, but it's also good that this thing is hitting in terms of you guys are dealing with a drought. Um, but the satellite imagery may see an eye try to form in a you know, later on today into tomorrow. Cone with hurricane warnings and watches from the Bahamas all the way through Florida. Um, tropical storm warnings and watches for Florida itself. Um, may see that extend for essentially the entire east coast of the U.S. and into parts of um, Canada if this thing does hold on to tropical status. That is still on the tables. Um, other than that, especially with how fast it's moving. Um, but anyways, models. It is looking at a New Brunswick landfall, which is very rare for these things to accomplish. Mm -hmm. So, with that, that is it. Stay safe. See you in the next video. Bye.